the difference between poison and venom is essentially the delivery method. So poison is ingested or inhaled. Venom has to be injected. So the delivery method is so important that you can actually ingest venom and it's rendered useless because it's not going through the delivery method it was made for. So there's lots of examples of poisonous animals, but the first one I always think of is poisonous frogs. Uh, we have them here at the Columbus Zoo. Something really interesting about how they get their poison, they are not made with poison. They actually get their poison from the animals they eat, little insects. And they absorb that poison and they secrete it through their skin. So the animals here at the Columbus Zoo, since they are not eating those naturally poisonous animals, they actually don't ever develop their poison here. So when people think about venomous, they always think about venomous snakes. And although venomous snakes are my favorite, there are a lot of other species that are venomous. There are fish, there are insects, there's arthropods, and there's even venomous mammals. Here at the zoo, we have the loris, which is one of four species of venomous mammal in the world. And the loris actually gets its venom from licking a gland on its arm. And it gets that venom into its mouth, thus creating the loris venomous bite. So why are animals poisonous and venomous? Um, these traits were developed to actually to protect these animals. They were developed, um, poison was developed so that these animals could be protected. You know, little frogs are so tiny, they'd be great prey items if they didn't have some kind of defense mechanism. So they developed the poison to help protect them. And they use bright colors to show that they are poisonous. Um, venom was actually, um, is developed for digestion. It's actually to help these animals not only subdue their prey, but it actually starts the digestive process before they even get that animal in their stomach. And other animals have used this, this coloration um, to mimic these venomous and poisonous animals um, so that they can protect themselves even though they don't have any poison or venom. So, you know, a prey or a predator comes in and he wants to eat that snake or that frog, he's not really sure if it's poisonous or venomous or not, and he's going to leave it alone. So even though all this might sound scary, these animals have a special role in their environment, especially venomous snakes. One timber rattlesnake can actually eat about 2,000 to 3,000 rodents a year. And if you count all of those ticks that are on those rodents, these animals are actually help keeping down Lyme disease populations. Um, and venom can also save your life. So there's a lot of research going on right now with venom, and they're using it for Parkinson's disease, heart disease, Alzheimer's treatments, cancer. Um, there's actually f medicines that are already currently on the market that you guys could be taking that was developed from the proteins of the venom from these animals. So even though it's really scary, venom could actually save your life. So these poisonous and venomous snakes, lizards, and amphibians are facing a lot of challenges in the wild. Everything from diseases to habitat loss and especially human persecution. Here at the Columbus Zoo, we're committed to protecting these species in the wild. And one program that is especially near and dear to my heart is the Eastern Massasauga Rattlesnake, SSP. It is one of three native species here in Ohio. We participate in a breeding program as well as doing habitat research to help save these species out in the wild. And the habitat research that we do can actually help save the Massasaugas and ever other areas by protecting what they need to survive. I've been fascinated with snakes since I was a little kid. I have three brothers and grew up in the woods catching anything we could. And I've just always really liked what people don't necessarily think is, is adorable. I see just a beautiful, strong uh, animal that is just built to survive, and I really like in interacting with our guests and, and showing them that these guys are not just out to get us, and they're not evil animals, that they're beautiful and they're strong, and I kind of like to see when the guest kind of starts coming onto my side, and you know I can show them the beauty of these animals, and they're, they have little puppy faces. They're so cute. I love them.